Batteries are very sensitive to temperature. They cannot overheat. You cannot operate them when they're too cold either. So you really need to keep them in a narrow temperature range. Our partners, the people doing electric vehicles, are not always knowledgeable or haven't experienced those challenges. So we come in with them as partners to be able to help them make a better battery pack. The main obstacles in the general adoption of EVs, electric vehicles, are cost, safety, driving range, and longevity of the battery pack. All these are kind of related to temperature in the lithium ion battery. Our technology helps addressing these challenges in different levels. Our system allows to make safe batteries. We actually increase the lifetime and that allows actually to decrease the cost of the overall vehicle. In Canada, in cold regions, our technology allows actually to save the heating energy required for the battery self-heating. Again, we have measured that 25% more driving range in winter conditions. You can charge it faster, draw more power. For the EV manufacturer, it really opens the opportunities. And for the end user, it makes it more attractive, easier to adopt. We were lucky to have support from CMC while launching the activities at the university. We did research projects with industrial partners in order to develop the core technology. CMC was a key enabler to allow us to have tools to do these studies that allowed us to go ahead and you know, develop products the market needs. So CMC actually provides this kind of intermediate step between the government who wants to help and the startup who is here, but they don't know how to talk to each other. CMC is a kind of conduit that provides that to startups. Thanks to CMC, we're able to have additional capabilities that a startup would typically not have access to. They bring us tools, resources, expertise that allow us to actually gain in expertise very quickly. We've been lucky to have support from CMC also for training to make that accessible to the students. So they're able to go get training beyond what we're able to give them locally at the university and training them for future careers. By taking technology from the lab and bringing it to the market, there's an exciting aspect of seeing uh, something that you've thought about and prototyped and seen become a, a product. But also another exciting aspect, which is supporting the economy in an area which is good for the environment, but also which brings high quality jobs.